So when it comes to the indoor aquaponics system, I've got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is that my plants are looking amazing. I'm real happy with how these plants are looking. Finally, I feel like I've on, I'm on the path to success. The roots, they're all coming through the rock wool, which was, if you remember when I had the spinach, that's what I was wanting. The lighting's not the best for this. But these things are all coming through the rock wool. Um, some of these are getting pretty long. I've kind of given up on the, you know, I had, I had popsicle sticks and I was putting them through the slats here to kind of raise these neti pots just because I, I didn't want the water soaking, constantly soaking in the rock wool. Basically, I've kind of changed that whole thought process. Once the roots started breaking through the rock wool, I was just, I was like, whatever, just get it in there because I was starting to get a few plants here and there where they were getting dried out. So I just uh, started putting them in the water just to see what would happen and everything's been growing really well. So to combat any problems that I might have with one getting more water than the other, what I've kind of been doing is just rotating them because you know the water level on this one seems to be like here and the water level on this one's like right there so just to be fair and and to you know the light uh kind of changes its grading its variances a little bit from one spot to another so anyway i'm just trying to equal things out and be fair to everybody so plants are looking good over here now over here these are seeds that i had from the last time I sprouted stuff for the aquaponics. I've got cilantro in here. And even these ones are hard to see it there, guys, but even these ones are starting to sprout through the rock wool. Um, so I, I got cilantro. This is a mescaline, mescaline, something like that. It's lettuce. Um, and then over here I've got a shard and I think that's a, another cilantro that I got mixed up, but oh well, I'll just let it go for now, see what it does. Anyway, bottom line, all my plants are looking fabulous. The problem is that my fish are sick. And I don't know what to say, what might have caused this because I felt like everything was going great. But what happened was I noticed a couple days ago one of these fish were kind of swimming a little odd and then like a day and a half after I noticed the fish kind of swimming a little odd, I noticed a granule on it, which is ick. So, those little white spots there, those white granules there, those are basically like a parasite on the exterior of the fish. So it seems to be the way to get rid of it is I need to add salt to the water and raise the temperature of the tank. Raising the temperature of the tank will shorten the lifespan of the parasite and then basically the parasite will release from the fish and then once it's free floating in the tank the salt that's in the tank will be ultimately what kills the parasite. So that's the game I'm playing. One tablespoon of salt per five gallons of water. So I put 10 tablespoons of water in there, 50 gallon tank, and it's been 24 hours since I did that. So the other thing is I don't have a water heater. So what I've done is I've been pouring boiling water into the tank because it says to get the tank up to like 80, 86 degrees, somewhere in there. Now typically this thing runs at like 70, 72. So what I have done is I've been putting boiling water in there every once in a while. It's raised it a couple of degrees, but not anywhere near where I need it to be. So maybe this is wishful thinking, I don't know guys, but um, I do feel like it has helped a little bit in a, in a little bit of time that I've put the salt in there. So I'm hoping that I'm on the right path. Uh, two of them for sure are like covered in it. And the third one over here, I think has like one little node on, on its back. So I'm just fingers crossed that I'm catching this in time and I'm acting fast enough on it. But I mean, you can tell these these guys are kind of stressed, so. And uh, that's where I'm at with this guy, so. My fingers are crossed, I hope I am on top of this because I felt like I really was on the right path here, but it's kind of a 
brought me to my knees here with this situation. So anyway, tonight I think I'm gonna do um, a water change, 50, 60% water change. I'll let that go for 24 hours and then uh, I'll throw more salt back in it and see where we go. I will uh, check in on this in another couple of days and let you guys know what happens.